guess this is what you could call the uh, some old street art. It's not got a name on it, or any information. I imagine it's been there for quite a few years. It's like the old industry. Right between the old public toilets. Nice. So I'm now in the area around Rundle Street and uh, Matilda Street and I'm just going to have a wander around all the back streets and see what we can find. So I think there's quite uh, quite a lot of street art around here. So when I used to live in the city centre this used to be uh, our go-to coffee shop, Holt Cafe. Unfortunately, it closed uh, a couple of years ago. This is the Food Hall Cafe, which uh, is closed at the minute. I think it's a uh, pay as you feel. Yeah, there's loads in there around there. Can't really get that bit in. There's tons of street art just on the little back streets. And unfortunately, I can't see this one because of the uh, car. It's a small area, but um, it's, I'm just having to wander in and out of all the back streets just because there's uh, just so much of it so I'm going back on myself now It's open. I don't know if this is going to bring me to the uh, to the art that I'm trying to find. I don't know what's down here. I mean, that's the Porter Brook. So uh, maybe this is the Porter Brook walk, and this will bring me to the uh, street art, which is another one of the uh, Kid Acne's. So let's see. Starting to look like a dead end, to be honest. Oh, well, that wasn't a successful walk. Well, I think this is it. I can't see any 24-hour dog patrol. Last time when I was coming around here to do, uh, I was taking photos of the street art and I, co I couldn't get here, I couldn't know how to get to it. That's the Kid Acne one. Yeah, and I got as far as that fence over there. Can't find any other information about these two, just the Kid Acne one. Yeah, I'm going to get out of here because every now and again I keep hearing the sound of uh, feet which is scaring me because I'm thinking it's going to be a dog's but I think it's more likely to be rats Right, keep going So just next to the Rutland Arms pub on Brown Street we've got another one of uh, Flem's pieces. You can see some uh, art at the back of them there. Nice beer garden, but obviously closed. So this is a new one on me, Growing City 2020. 
Public Art by artist Joe Peel and Professor Nigel Dunnett. Hand painted mural spans 32 metres, living wall of plants, showcasing naturally occurring urban plant species, promoting mental well being and producing clean air. So the next three are all by uh, phonographic. And this one replaced uh, a painting of David Attenborough that used to be here, um, but it was uh, vandalised beyond repair. So uh, phonographic came and did her thing. I do believe there's another one of hers around here somewhere. So this is Charles Street, this is the Red Line pub. And apparently, down this little uh, street here, there's another phonographic. And there she is. It's a shame it's been uh, vandalised. Not one for tagging. Um, but you know, some people are into their tagging, but I mean, that is just vandalism, isn't it? Really? So, this is uh, an artist called Rocket 01, and again, it's just been vandalized. These people have just come down with tins of white paint and just threw it all over it for some reason. And you think the amount of work that must have gone into that, and then it's just been ruined by oh, idiots. That's in the uh, Sheffield Science Park, and I'm going to walk to uh, the Hubs, which is the uh, Sheffield Hallam uh, University Union and Bar. I used to spend many uh, hours in this place when we should have been studying. You see, there's some uh, street, some nice art around the sides. Many drunken days in there. So this colourful piece um, was commissioned by Now Then magazine by uh, Rob Lee. And if you look at the top, just above the then, just there, you can see that he's actually designed it. So if you look at it from a certain angle, I'm too close here, I think, but it blends in with the building behind. You see how that is supposed to work? But I'm too close, so it's too big. I need to get further away. That's pretty cool. So that's Rob Lee. Okay, I've no idea how long uh, all that footage was, so I'm, uh, I'm going to end part two here and uh, part three I'll be heading down initially towards uh, Castlegate and uh, then who knows we'll uh, again we'll uh, just see what happens when we get there so uh, see you in the next one